So all throughout Smash 4, there were plenty of people who had um, pockets and different characters they'd go to for weird matchups or things they didn't feel confident in. So to see the roster grow, to see uh, aggression and gameplay really speed up here, it's no surprise that Always some people are picking a up pockets treat. in secondary. Yes, absolutely. I love seeing the game this fast, even if I barely keep up with it. No, I mean, it's, it's okay, man. But we're here. So King Ark, the winner of the previous Xeno last week, coming in to fight in winner's semis. He's going to see if he can try to, like, claim, hold on to that title. I'm pretty sure he was first seed for this bracket. So right. let's see if he can try to, like, you know, hold. I mean, he he's, hasn't lost yet. Got to try to defeat Jen. Jen winning a couple Xenos back in the past, getting seventh at Let's Make Moves, ninth at a uh, NYXL. So definitely putting himself on the map a little bit. They're both very excellent players, although uh, coming in, I can't remember who King Arch played, but I know Jen was more used to the Ryu play in the closing end days of Smash yeah, 4. Yeah, Bao was so. back in Smash 4. They, like, he tried playing Ryu in this game, not going to happen as much. He, he doesn't feel it. It doesn't connect as well. I feel you. But it still seems like they're very comfortable in their characters right now. And was... I think I could remember it wrong, but was King Arch's uh, Xeno last week, was that the first one that he won? Uh, or, King Ar yes, that was the yes. very first ultimate uh, Xeno that he's won. Yes. So, the but champion now, now, he comes back. He's got to try to hold on to his belt with Mega Man against Fox. Yeah, honestly, this is champion versus champion. <coughs> it is. So, we got King Arch sitting at 111%. Looking for a potential edge drop. But you see them both just kind of mash and shield. They're trying to potentially get, like, a parry. Yeah. Honestly, see, that's the thing, right? Early on... Uh, people don't know how to do parries. We're a bit farther on, but now so much greed for parries. Even yeah. though they're good, they're not the answer to everything. But it's such a tantalizing option. It looks what cool, a feels good. That was an Excellent. amazing confirm. He got the metal blade into the back here, reverse aerial rush. That it got, caught it in the middle. That was like true. That looked a little true. Was that the um? What do you call it? The attack cancel. That's the. Yeah, when, when yes. you dash up and do uh, immediately go into like an aerial attack, turn it around, allow you to do the back airs. It allows you to do it a little bit easier. That was a good call out from Jen right there. A lot of Mega Mans will use that in the neutral. The Leaf Shield walk up, maybe take some space back. Oh, I didn't yeah. get a conversion. I'll try again later. So it was good of him to challenge that right away and not give him the space to breathe with it. And he, actually, you know what? Uh, King Ark, uh, he Mega Man got nerfed a little bit in the uh -huh. previous patch. So he's no longer allowed to like be able to go for a jump cancel out of the third pellet into a Leaf Shield. But, he, you know, still a working character getting a lot of mileage off of the Leaf Shield alone. Already sitting has him at 57%. My man sitting at 102 himself. Now at this point, you see him th tossing a lot of projectiles, trying to bait out that shield from Jen, maybe get a grab afterwards. And this is sort of an awkward spot because when Mega Man has a lead, even if it's a small one like this, because of where he wants to play his range, which is outside of Fox's, he can just play that patiently. Fox tries to come to him. I'm surprised he went that. Honestly, that's a great option for him to do because like you said, Fox wants to get in his opponent's face. So. What is Mega Man going to do? He's going to try to go for an up smash out of shield just in case he's a little bit above him. That's true. That That's was true. a smart uh, crash bomb. Puts it on the wall just to like help him, give him some breathing room to get back to the stage safe and sound. Yo, it was a shame. He had the conversion off there, uh, Metal Blade into uh, the... I was trying to call him the Razzle, the, ba the back air. Good call, can't tech that in this game. At least I, mean, I don't think he could have tech that there. I'm not sure. I mean, honestly, he was. it looks like he was going a little bit too fast. I think he was just done for. Yeah. Because it's all about how fast you go now. Oh, so it's not percentage shot. I thought it was percentage, not Well, speed, percentage, but... uh, percentage affects how fast you go towards oh, it. Yeah. Oh, no! I think he just, like, SD'd a little bit. Yeah, he <laughs> just a little. Just, 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 a, just a wee bit. Just I mean, a wee tiny when you're at When you're at high percent, uh, SDs don't sting as much. No, not at all. Although, it does stink not to get the extra credit on someone like Fox, who very much dies. He just dies early if you can get the right reads on him. And Mega Man, he's a man of a thousand cuts. Yeah, so honestly, that, percent, <laughs> that was kind of a wacky exchange there a little bit. You see him go for the up air, he gets reflects the wind right back at him. Always kind of weird to witness. Absolutely. So I don't know what the re-hit is on that. So if he had SDI'd out, if he just got hit at a weird portion of it or whatever, but any move that gets reflected that goes up or down, anything like that is always strange to see. Yeah, there we go. Jen is going to call out that empty hop. Just goes for the immediate shield grab and says, got my 67% on this platform. Yes. Good Great parry. parry. Oh my god, he had the punish too. He was already. That's Jet. a scary place to be in. But the Jet. fact that he came down and made it his own. And honestly, I feel like it took King Ark a while to find his footing in the beginning of like Ultimates in like the first couple weeks. But now he's definitely coming out here, putting in a lot of work. Solid. Oh my god. Runs off of that forward air, has him at 136%. Tries to catch him with the forward smash. That's gets it. the Dunkaroo with a predictable Firefox coming from Jen. Game Game one going to Sigma King Arc. Yo, that was extremely clean. And that was 
That's a scary thing to do. If you want to let go of shield on a platform against a fox, so let's say he, let's say he's going to read your getup. He's going to tech chase you. If he gets it right, you die. If he gets it wrong, you're still in a bad scenario. He fast falls, he goes for another one. So to try to do that, say, I have your rhythm. I'm going to parry you. I'm coming down with the punish. I'm confident I will get the parry, and I will put my pressure back up on you. Takes a lot of fortitude to do that sort of thing. And you'll recognize with the parries that, like, I, we saw that, that one moment when King Ark was just spamming shield. Yes. I feel like in a lot of players' minds, it's how they get the parries a lot easier is when they, like, think of just blocking by just tapping the R right when they think it's going to swing instead of, like, holding shield that, that we've been conditioned to do from Smash 4, and it's starting yes. to show that he's adapting. So let's see if Jen can also bring that to the back, because we've seen the likes of, say, Lights Fox, who is like the king of parrying. That, that's what he does when he tries to go for parries. And we'll see if Jen tries to bring that to the table here in game number two. Yep, good shield pressure. I'm not sure if that shield poke, but it was great nonetheless, reflects the tornado. Mm. So that's always gonna be a good option when you're just get, you know getting airborne from Mega Man. It helps Fox land back down onto the ground safe and sound. Good cross up. Didn't get too much out of it. Not too much. That was a little bit of an awkward space because Mega Man was at such a low percent. But. Yeah, if he just had a little bit more damage on him, could have easily got connected into a second upsell and started airborning him. So, you know, what I'd like to see is uh, Jen pick up a little bit on King Ark. Is it King Ark or King Arch? King Ark. Okay, King Ark. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to see him pick up a little bit because you can see King Ark trying to go a little bit too much for the parry. Stuff like that where he was falling down, keep it down on the ground, good conversion. Um, he was, he was flicking around that shield because he wants it. Mm -hmm. And that is something you have to look for now. Before, it's just, oh, perfect shield, non-committal. It's not really a punish thing. You just have to watch for it. Now, if your opponent goes for parries all the time, that's another punishable state. That's, what, 11 frames that you have? Or not 11. But yeah, uh, no, some, just, some time. Some time. Something you've got to watch Below out for. a second. <laughs> Below a second. It's tight, but it is there. Okay, there we go. A lot of, you'll see Jen like baiting out these attacks by going for the uh, double jump beforehand. Goes for the punish. That was kind of a very risky dash attack coming from your boy King Ark. Jen goes in, gets a huge punch up smash, gonna sit with the lead. And he's actually gonna try to carry that with a little bit of blaster action. Off stage, saved his double jump just in case. Yep, tries to get the ledge grab, but doesn't quite get anything off of it. Dash attack there, but Jen keeps the center stage, which I'm going to call for this one, Mega Man. Oh, yeah, big punish. Greedy. And he's going to pay the price for it. I mean, King York's been doing this a lot lately, but you'll see him getting combo a little bit. Great punish, going for the back air off stage, but you'll see him get punished, right? And to escape the situation, he goes for an air dodge onto the ledge. So, like, it gets him out of the combo situation, but it still puts him at a disadvantaged state. Does. That's another thing that he likes to do a lot. He'll rush and then he'll air dodge into the stage. Mm. It's still got a little bit of a vulnerability, uh, vulnerability period. I think it's a couple frames before you can grab the ledge out of an air dodge, but it's normally a pretty safe option to go yeah. for nonetheless. Like, Fox doesn't have too much in the... Do you see these tricks that King Ark's trying to do here? He eventually he grabs the ledge, though. Just let this boy back on stage. He, was he just wants to jumping. come back. He was, trying to, <laughs> he was trying to bait out something from Jen, but Jen just kept his patience, just stayed calm, waited for him to actually go for the re-grab onto the ledge before just catching him with that down smash. He's sitting on 35%. He doesn't have to rush right now. Yeah. Although... He gets him back off stage, Ooh. Fox. If he would have been antsy, if yes. he would have been overzealous with that side B, would it connect with that down air spike? So good patience again coming from Janice. As, as, as we've been saying, playing a little bit more defensively. And that's one of the keys, I feel, honestly, with Mega Man, is that patience and understanding the matchup and realizing that even when you know all of Mega Man's trick, it's just patience. You have to wait. You cannot get too aggressive against this guy or he will make you pay for it. Okay, chilling off stage using the reflector, goes at an angle to avoid the down air spikes, learning his lesson, sends it back off 101%, potential edge guard holding that down smash for a million years. Uh-huh, he really wanted him to walk into it. That's not even the first time he did it this game. He wants it. Oh, trying to go for the trump instead. Jen jumping out back and forth, connects the neutral air, goes gets the, the read! Gets oh... That's a rough spot to be in. That was a Hail Mary if I've ever seen him. Like, you saw him go, you know, send him downwards. He knew he was going to try to roll to the right, catches him with the up smash. Jen with a dominating two stock that game number two. Absolutely. Made the adjustments he needed and... Oh my god. That, see, that's the scary thing, right? Is that... Uh, what percent was he at? I don't remember the exact 100 number. 100 some. Like yeah, 102, yeah, yeah. 110. Even if he misses that, like say he misses it, the whiff punish window isn't that crazy. And if you do get up attack, oh well, he gets hit away. He works his way back. It's scary, but he could he can afford that risk. It's one of the risky options out there to go for a get up attack. And I think I feel a lot of players are kind of afraid to go for it. But sometimes it's it's like as you're like a last ditch effort, it can catch people off guard when they're expecting like one of your habits. Mm -hmm. And um, laying down too. 
is it's scary. Take in a, a snooze. Take a nap. On the grounds will just kill you if you wait, yeah. but it can be the call sometimes. But and honestly, down. Jen could react to that. He could. That's true. But he made the call out. Okay, Yoshi's gone. story. Here we go. Different different type of triplats. Kind of a smaller blast zone, but the it, Sage kind of feels bigger, you know, because because of, the, of the, the placement of the platforms. Absolutely. And then uh, does the angle uh, with the stage affect uh, Fox's recovery at all? I don't, I don't think it's gonna affect his recovery at all. But like, you got the slant there. It could affect with the uh, if you're going for like a potential edge guard, because you know you're angling downwards a little bit. So it could, be, you know, maybe there's different moves that you could potentially throw out there. For Fox, it's probably gonna be kind of the same. But Mega Man himself, if he's trying to throw out a projectile, you know, he's, you're at a slant, so. That's true. Tries to catch him, gets the correct read on the illusion, but not at the right height that he wanted it to be. That would have killed, too. Hey, King Arc offstage. This is something that Jen's been doing a lot this set. It has not been working out for him. Him, like, preemptively charging these smash attacks, hoping that he's going to, like, you know, get back onto the stage. Not at the ready just yet, though. Nice catch. That forward air actually having the knockback to get the kill Good from Lord. center stage. Showing him who the real Firefox is. It's still yeah. Fox. Yeah, honestly. He's, I mean, he's, he's got he's his sword's on fire, but like, you know. All right. It's whatever. So yeah. now, Mega Man, we were watching um, King Art play earlier, and Mega Man on the ledge has a lot of options, but it's still not easy to come back with someone as fast and mm. safe an option as Fox has. So. Jen doing a really good job of keeping the corner here. Even if Mega Man gets back up, he has to work for that stage control again. Yeah, honestly, that entire sequence, King Arc felt a little trapped until he finally got that grab. Okay, you're going to try to keep him on that platform, fishing for these up airs. But again, Leaf Shield getting so much damage off of it. And then, pressing out the Metal Blades, looking for a confirm. Uh, I don't think he's going to kill at this percent, but just anything to get stage control would make this a lot harder for Fox. Gets a little too greedy and overextends. Just cross him up, get the back air. That's all you need. So now, this is still looking pretty good. This is... Okay, as you say that, uh... catches him at that side <laughs> B, but Jen's opting to recover high. You saw King Ark trying to guess in case he was going to go for a low recovery. Try to close out that stock really early. Both sitting at two stocks. Jen at high percentage, though. Very ooh, nice was confirm. That a confirm. Oh Off my of, god! Now King Arc has been dominating with these metal blade confirms. He got into an up smash that time around. It's been exceptionally solid. Yeah, I don't think I've seen him put anything out there that hasn't had a purpose behind it with the metal blades. Mm. He always tosses them out. He's always like, I want this pressure. I want this confirm. And even if he doesn't always land them, the fact that they're there is scary. Because Metal Blade confirms will just keep it. Speaking of scary, that was a frightening looking leaf shield. He saw it eat Jen's double jump. He had to get back onto the stage as fast as possible once that happened. Oh, he called him out with that side B. Had the down air at the ready. You thought maybe he was going to go for a double jump side B instead. Try to bait it out. But no, he went for the immediate Fox illusion. King Arc knew it was coming out. He was going to throw out the down air because why not? Just throw out the down air just in case. He was catches just... him out of there. He knew his objective was to catch that ledge. Yes. It's a shame, too, because Jen, he just wanted that stage. When you're at that percent, when you're at a disadvantage and you have such a mountain to work by from Mega Man, you got the recovery like Fox. Let me let me back. Let me play yes. the neutral where I belong. Get me off of this ledge. Backpedal a little bit. No. Not Down to yeah. the depths. It, it becomes a mix-up, right? Mm -hmm. It becomes one of those things where it's like, are you going to go for? Are you going to smack that side B button immediately and go back to the stage as soon as possible, mm -hmm. or are you going to try to chill back, be patient, and King Arc? And honestly, I don't even know if that was a call out from King Arc. That could have just been, hey, I might as well just throw out a down air and see. And if it does, if it whiffs, then whatever. I covered an option, and then I'll try to see what I can do if he manages to stay patient. Exactly. Before, when we were watching uh, King Arc's games, that was the same thing that we talked about, is that throwing that out is very, very low risk. What is the absolute worst that can happen in that scenario? 